Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Now, this video is specifically for the students of Assam High Secondary Education Board students who are going to appear for their 12th board examination. The physics paper is on 18th and today 15th of February you had your uh, chemistry examination and uh, I do hope that you did well in your examination. Now, for 18th, the foremost thing is that uh, you need to have a full confidence that you have done your effort and you have done your complete hard work for one year. So, you do not need to take much of tension during these two and a half days. So, the best thing you can do is uh, today that is 15th of February, you take some chapters on which you are full confident. Okay. Now, there are two options like uh, uh, suppose you are very confident in current electricity or electrostatics. So, uh, if you are very much confident in a very uh, big chapters like that, so you can take two chapters and finish off those two chapters uh, today. The other option is like, uh, okay, you are equally confident in all the chapters, then you can take the small chapters like atoms, nuclei, uh, communication system, electromagnetic waves, these are small chapters, and dual nature. So, you can finish off at least say uh, three or two chapters uh, by today by midnight. Okay. Now, for the rest of the chapters, you divide the time so that uh, by uh, 17th afternoon, you have revised uh, everything, each and everything. Okay. After 17, you do not need to take seven minutes, mid after post afternoon of 17th of February. Uh, then go through brush up like see the formulas and all and do not need you do not need to study much after that. Okay. And uh, at the night sleep early have a very good sleep and uh, you are writing your examination in the afternoon session. So, morning also you can revise a uh, few of the uh, derivations or just superficial reading will do. Okay. And during these two and a half days, uh, do not uh, means you do not need to write each and every derivations. Okay, you do not need to practice each and every numericals, you have those things you have already done. So, have keep your NCRT book with you as now, even now I am having both the NCRT book, I have kept, kept those books uh, on this table. So, you should keep your NCRT book. And uh, now, there were few queries with regard to like what can be the source of questions. See, nobody can guess the source of questions. But uh, keeping in, the, in view the last two years or last three years trend, you may see that last year the council uh, has proposed that there, there will not be any questions from the question bank. So, entirely each and every questions were from your NCRT textbook. But uh, in 2017, there were questions from textbook as well as from question bank. So, this year, uh, since question mark has again been brought by the council. So, it is advisable that you should not miss out the questions from the question bank as well as from NCRT. But NCRT is foremost important. Okay. So, but now see now at this moment, you it is not possible that you read each and everything from the NCRT. So, the best thing is like provided I am saying this, suppose you have read the book properly, then go through the important points which you have marked in your book and you can also read the uh, points to ponder that is given at the back of each chapter. Okay. Now, with regard to numericals, I will suggest you that uh, go through the salt examples, have a reading of the salt examples. You have already solved them, but go through them once again. And with regard to exercise problem, like what the best you can do is uh, like uh, read a numerical and uh, see whether uh, you are able to recollect the formula which is required to solve those questions. Like for board level questions, uh, most of the questions 99.9% .9 questions will be direct formula based questions. So, if you are good, you are having a good knowledge about the formulae of that particular chapter, then there should not be any problem. Okay. Now, numericals, for numericals, there will be questions like in the range of 15 to 18 marks. And, uh, there will be choice in numericals also, but uh, do not please do not if you are aiming to get a very good marks. So, it is my suggestion that please do not neglect 
the numericals okay and uh, have a look at the past two years papers like you can go through the 2018 paper 2017 paper have a look whether you are comfortable with those questions and uh, uh, it is my as per my view like if you are comfortable with last two years papers then you should not have any problem with uh, 2019 paper also it will be of the same level because last two years papers was quite standard paper so with this i sign off this video and uh, i do believe that you do well in your board examination so the most important factor in scoring well is see you have studied well for one year you did a lot of tremendous hard work so during these two days don't lose the confidence have proper confidence and uh, with the blessings of your parents with the almighty and with your hard work with the blessings of your teachers uh, you, you are going to surely you are going to get very good marks so my good wishes to you. Good luck.